Good, e <clears throat> Excuse me. Good evening, and thanks for coming out tonight. Steve, I'm ready. Some time ago, a friend of mine, Alex Lowe, whom I'm sure many of you folks knew as well, said to me, you can't do what I do, so do what you can do. And that's how it all started, an easy enough first step trekking into Paul with a small group of friends. In the Himalayas, I'm surrounded by unimaginable beauty, but also staggering poverty and critical shortages, such as clean water, sufficient food. At the same time, these gentle people must navigate a three and a five day hike down a mountainside to find limited medical care, if they can find it at all. I've been fortunate, thanks to the military in my years in corporate America, to have spent time in South America, Central America, Europe, Asia, and other exotic places. These places filled with interesting people, yet the gentle people of rural Nepal keep, keep remind me and, and capture me again and again. Then, while trekking up the Sum Valley, once I ran into a temporary health camp, free medical exams, the sign said, and medication distributed by a small NGO. Here again, I see these resilient and nurturing people. Somehow, I need to help, so I volunteer. Now, as the newest member of the Chaya medical team, I'm asked, well, where did I receive my medical training? Well, let's just say many years ago, I won a kind of a scholarship by the U.S. government. <laughs> that in the years following working in hospital ERs as I attended college. That's where I learned my skill. The following year at the Dalpa Health Camp, we were told of a small boy with an infection that won't heal. After searching the village, we find a 10-year-old with advanced gangrene to his hand. We immediately air vac him down the mountainside had a third of his hand removed, but his life was saved. Even with our dedicated medical staff, the near tragedy in Dalpa demonstrates that temporary health camps are an inconsistent medical solution. We must somehow provide sustainable localized health care. That's a picture of Dr. Porbu. Um, he's a, he was a Tibetan refugee himself as a small child and uh, trained, and now he's a volunteer with our, our group. He's a wonderful doctor. To this end, last year, we opened our first permanent birthing and health center in Lar, Sum Valley. It's staffed by two Chaya trained nurses who speak the local dialect and have access to more advanced medical advice if needed. In rural Nepal, most babies are delivered in unsanitary conditions, resulting in postpartum infections of 24%. We hope to change that. Here's a camp, here's a, 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 one of our uh, health centers being built. And you can see that we supply the engineering and the materials and an on-site engineer and, they, and the villagers supply the local labor. While I truly miss the spectacular four and five week treks in the remote reaches of, of the Himalayas with our mobile health camps, the 7,000 patients tr treated at Lar Birthing Center in its first year of operation tells us this is the answer. As our mobile health camps begin to wind down and we refocus on long-term community health care, several volunteers suddenly arrive at our Kathmandu office and asking for help. What we discover is a desperate situation of neglected and malnourished children. Sri Supa Inclusive School in Kalali District had 45 handicapped children in residence. There was a one-hole toilet, no kitchen, contaminated water, one dorm room, two classrooms, no teacher, no caretaker, and no permanent food budget. The place was a mess. Well, after one and a half years of effort, we've completed an indoor kitchen, provided a full-time cook and a full-time childcare person, established a stable food budget, rebuilt four classrooms, converted two dorms, and built a 3,000 square foot garden supplying fresh vegetables year round. Thank you very much. And our pride and joy, a new wheelchair accessible, fully tiled bathroom with two toilets and two uh, showers. The tiny washing machine on the right is, uh, it's, it's tiny by our standards, but the Didi who, who, who takes care of the children, she just loves it. 
While we're still content contending with contaminated water, weekly shower times means water efficiency is the watchword. 15 showers, give or take a few escapees, and about 45 minutes gets the job done, but requires a more industrialized approach and a good garden hose. <laughs> and now, of course, the government big shots come by to give us a hearty pat on the back. But most importantly, we focused a very bright light on the forgotten kids of Kalali. They won't be forgotten again. <clears throat> While difficult, a positive relationship with the local government is critical for any NGO to be successful. So you applaud loudly. Today, I'm left with incredible memories mixed with a fair helping of frustration. I'm amazed at the happiness and the incredible positive attitudes I see in my Kalali kids and the love and sharing that they have for each other. But there is, there is so much more to do. We must somehow now institutionalize our progress so it becomes permanent. In March, I'll fly back to Kathmandu, and after a 30-hour bus ride to Kalali, we'll build a, physical, a basic physical therapy area, add a therapist, build a chicken coop, add a water buffalo for improved nutrition, and hopefully, hopefully, a qualified teacher this time. The last, these last years I spent with Chaya in Nepal have been fulfilling beyond anything I could have imagined. The Kalali kids have given me a better understanding of sharing, of caring, of helping others without expecting reward, of love. Disasters occur the world over, but in places like remote Nepal, the resources to tackle such disasters are few and far between. Help comes from the commitment to make things better, to care for others. As Alex said, to do what you can. These are two of our, our star pupils, that's Sunshine One and Sunshine Two. Uh, their names are too long for me to ever learn, but their, their attitudes are they're invincible. Thank you very much. <laughs>